Hi everyone, Anthony Morganti here. In today's video, I'm going to demonstrate how to use Luminar Neo to process a portrait naturally. Now at the top of the video, I mentioned that I'm going to be processing a portrait naturally. What I mean by that is with the portrait processing tools in Luminar Neo, you're able to, if you want to, significantly change the way someone looks. You could change the color of a person's eyes. You could make their face significantly slimmer. You can make their eyes significantly larger. You can make their teeth much whiter than they actually are. You could remove moles. You could do so much with the portrait processing tools in Luminar Neo that when you're done, you'll have a totally different person. I never like to do that. I like to enhance what's already there and to compensate for what the image is missing. Specifically, I have this stock photo. It's an existing light photo. The existing light wasn't that great. It was okay. So I need to compensate for that light. I need to do some things here to make the light look better. Also, um, not all of us can afford to have professional makeup artists do our model's makeup. So what I want to do here is I just want to enhance the makeup she already has on. Just make it look like maybe it's just maybe a little bit more makeup on her, but not a lot. I still want it to be very natural. And when it all is said and done, I still want it to be her. So let's get started. Now I mentioned that the it's an existing light portrait and I don't care too much for the light. So I'm gonna work with the light first. Over here on the right hand side where all the tools are, you see all the portrait tools are kept together. And at the very top is portrait bokeh. Now in this case, the bokeh behind the model, the blur behind the model, and the quality of that blur, the bokeh, isn't bad. I mean, it's, it's blurred out okay. So I really don't need to do anything there. But if you were forced to shoot at a smaller aperture, you may have the background in focus. Well, if that's the case, go to Portrait Bokeh and just push it up. And what it will do is it will blur out the background. I'll push it up here and you can see the background's already blurred. It just blurred it even more. So if you find the need to do that, start with that. Next, we'll go down to Face. And there's uh, three different areas here. At the top, we have Face Light and Slim Face. And below that we have eyes. I'm going to open all these up. And below that mouth. Now I mentioned that I want to work on the light first. Her face, it's existing light, but her face is still dark. So I'm going to go to face light and I'm just going to tweak that up. And you can see what an improvement that makes already. When you just make her face brighter, it just, just adds a lot to the image. So um, if you're ever in a situation and you're shooting an existing light, know that you could do this in post to help you out so you don't have to um, worry about trying to get a reflector or trying to get her near a wall or try to move her in a place that um, wouldn't look as good for her, but maybe the light was better. So we'll add the face light. Now I mentioned I don't want to change the color of her eyes. And for those of you that aren't familiar with Luminar Neo, you could do that under Iris. Go here and let's say I change her eyes to blue. See now she has these crazy blue eyes or green. So I'm going to keep them brown though. You could see all the different colors and you could even give her a cat eye if you wanted to. But we're going to go to brown and you could see that gave her this very nice uh, brown iris. Um, give a little bit of an eye flare in there. I'm not going to enlarge her eyes like I didn't slim her face either. I mentioned that, you know, you could slim someone's face. I don't like doing that. The only time I want to enlarge eyes is if, for whatever reason, the focal length of the lens I used made her eyes look smaller than they actually are. Then I would enlarge them. But in this case, you could see her eyes are very large naturally. So I don't think I need to do anything with enlarge eyes. I do need to whiten the whites of her eyes a little bit. And that, again is because of the lighting. Uh, the lighting's not hitting her eyes very well. So we're going to lighten the white of her eyes. Not a lot though. You could kind of like make it look horrible. So just natural. Just lighten them up a little bit. Um, eye enhancer. This I don't think I want to do. See how it's enhancing her iris even more? I really don't want that um, at all. I 
like I said, I want her to look like her. Uh, red eye removal. There's no red eye to remove. To remove here. Uh, there's dark circle removal. She has some slight dark circles. Let's move this. This is more of a subtle adjustment. So you can kind of go way up on that and see how it gets rid of the dark circles under her eyes. And improve eyebrows. Her eyebrows are actually pretty good. All this really does it adds a little sharpness and makes them darker. You can see how that does. But I think her eyebrows look fine. So I'm not going to do anything there. Now lip saturation, I do want to saturate the, her the lips a little bit more. I want to make them a little more redder, and I want to make them a bit darker. Okay, do that like that. And you can just barely see some teeth in there, but you could whiten them if you wanted to by moving this to the right. And we're done. We're done with the face. And this mainly was enhancing her eyes and improving the light that is falling upon her face is what I did here. And here's before and there's after. Now, her eyes might be a little bit over the top, so we'll take iris visibility down. Like I mentioned, I don't want her to not look like her. I just want to enhance what's already there. So there's before. And there's after. Much better, much better. All right, so I'm done with face AI. Next, we'll go down to skin AI. Now, this is just going to look like she has a little bit more of a base or foundation on her skin. So we're going to move this amount up like this. Like that, just kind of smooths out a little bit. Uh, there's no shine to worry about. You could, if she had like a blemish or something, you could click this box and it will remove it. And actually, I think I have the amount is too high for me. Like I said, I want this to be natural. I still want to see pores on her face, as you can see here. I don't want it to be uh, like, you know, like real heavy makeup, just a little more makeup. And that's that. So let's do a before after now. There's before and there's after. Now, if I wasn't talking, I'd be able to do this in less than a minute, probably 30 to 45 seconds. So you could see how effective these tools are. Now, um, if by chance, um, you know, in that skin adjustment, there was that checkbox to uh, remove defects, it's now over here in edits. Oops, it's at the top. Uh, you know, I checked that box. Let's, sometimes that doesn't always get all the, um, all the blemishes. And if you find you need to manually remove a blemish, go to the erase tool and get a brush radius that's just around the size of a blemish. Here's a little tiny mole. And then you could paint on these things. Just paint on it. You'll see a red overlay goes over where you're painting. Here's a little pimple right there. All right, and then when you're done, click Erase. And then it will get rid of all that. If you find it smudged a little, like this one looks like it might have smudged a little, just paint over it again and click Erase. There, that's better. So. That's it. That's how you process a portrait naturally. Now, one more tip, actually, before I go. Um, if you ever run into a situation and you're, let's say, whitening teeth, and when you whiten the teeth with um, the face tool, like, and you move this all the way to the right and they're still not white enough, remember, you could have more than one instance of a tool. Meaning, if I go to Tools again, and I grab another uh, face tool, and I go to whiten teeth, then you're doubling it up. So if you go over to edits, you'll see I have two face tools. One of them, the first one, I did the face light, I did the eyes, and I did the lips, and I did a tiny bit of whitening of the two little tiny teeth you could see there. So if you find, though, that you need to do it again, this doesn't just stand for teeth either. If you find that you need to double up on any adjustment, is um, all you need to do is just go to the tool and add another one and then do it again. And you'll be doubling up on the adjustment. So hopefully that helps you better edit portraits or really anything else in Luminar Neo. One more time, before, after. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon. <laughs>